The highlights of the race were many. It was a great start by Yelma Berman from the outside of the front row on a wet road. He went toe to toe with Dennis Lind on the way down towards the first corner. They rubbed mirrors, they rubbed bodywork. The Lamborghini had the inside line. They both braked as late as they dared, but round the outside went the Mercedes and that put Yelma Berman into the lead of the race. And it was a lead that he was not to lose in his opening stick. But in GT4, life was much more troublesome. Scott McKenna ran wide, he came back onto the circuit across the front of Jake Giddings, who in turn collected the Charlie Robertson Ginetta. We ended up with three damaged cars and an early safety car period, although that came after Greg Caton had gone into the back of the Marcus Clatton McLaren and turned that around. Uh, we lost Scott Mulvan for the race with the Team Parker Racing Porsche. We also lost Jake Giddings in the Mercedes. And on the restart, Yelma Berman used the traffic to his advantage, pulling away from Dennis Lind, who then ran deep into the first corner and lost a couple of places. Charlie Eastwood going past him, and so too did Sandy Mitchell. As the cars turned their way through the infield section, the battles were on in GT4 as well, and Darren Turner, a lap down by that stage after a pit stop for a puncher, was in the thick of it as the McLarens of Lewis Proctor and also Marcus Clatton ran out of row down at the S's. Battle on between Charlie Eastwood and Sandy Mitchell, the Lamborghini striving to find a way up and past the Aston Martin and eventually Sandy Mitchell did find a way through as the GT4 fight continued Jamie Stanley squabbling with Matt Cowley McLaren versus Mustang in the early stages eventually to the inside line went the grunt and go forward and that gave Matt Cowley the place and they were setting up nicely for a category win as the battles were continuing between Aston Martin and Lamborghini this the fight between Charlie Eastwood and Dennis Lind and it would be a battle that would continue in the second stint with the second drivers on board. Lind going ahead as then the pit stop window opened. Yelma Berman came in to give way to Ian Loggy. A lap earlier, though, uh, we'd had Phil Keane in the red Lamborghini in to give way to Michael Igo. And that car, therefore, was already into its stint as Igo got straight to work, moving ahead of Andrew Howard, sliding his way out of the right hand of Riches. GT4 pit window opened. In came the RJN McLarens on block. And as the GT4 traffic rejoined the race, that suddenly gave the GT3 drivers a lot more to think about with a much more crowded house. Jordan Collard's McLaren hustled on as round the outside, Ahmad Ahafi pulled a great move on Andre Howard. Round the outside at Corum, picked up the place, gained the opportunity, and then set off in pursuit of Leo Machitsky as also Will Moore sorted out Nick Halstead's McLaren round the outside, a brave pass coming out of the S's. Machitsky on the outside, Ahafi on the in, the two of them side by side in GT3, the RJN McLarens, numbers two and three, the sister cars hard at work in the GT4 fight. The pair of them moving ahead of the Nick Halstead, Jamie Stanley car as well as that struggle for traction. But up front there was no messing as Ian Loggy and Yelma Berman came through for a first win of the season and won in style. Adam Ballon and Sandy Mitchell taking second and third going the way of an inspired Michael Igo who took the fastest lap of the race and his co-driver Phil Keane in GT4. A first win as a partnership for Will Moore and Matt Cowley at the helm of the Academy Motorsport Ford Mustang. And it was a delighted Academy team. It was a delighted Ram Racing squad as well with an overall win for Ian Loggy and Yelma Berman. And that sets us up nicely for the next brace of races at Alton Park.